General Santos City is known as the tuna capital of the Philippines, and when visiting the city, it would be foolish to skip the joys and healthful benefits of eating tuna. Here in Jensan, tuna is everywhere in the market, constituting a huge part of the city's economy. According to Marlon, who has been selling tuna for 20 years, tuna has helped his family a lot. Malaki, malaki, malaki. Okay, ito na rin ang pinagkukunan ko eh. Ito na rin ang pinagkukunan ko ng... He said there are times sales are weak but with the month of December is approaching, he expects a bigger profit. From here, the city further strengthens its tourism sector by expanding their tourism portfolio. We are going beyond Tuna. Um, andun na kasi yung ano, parang nagiging landmark na talaga ang, ating, uh, ang Tuna industry for Jensen as press tourism. So we are venturing towards medical, medical tourism, um, fun farms. We have several sites here of, of, uh, for farm tourism. In addition, they want to promote the city's medical tourism. He stressed there are a number of hospitals in the city that can provide the necessary medical services. Jensen also serves as a gateway to the Sok Surgeon region because of its airport and seaport. It is a win-win for the local government to strengthen other aspects of the city's tourism industry. To maximize being the gateway, we have our MICE facilities. Now, so we have facilities for meetings, incentives, conferences, conventions, Exposition exhibits. Now, Jensen is becoming to be a diversified uh, host of diversified industries. Now, we are hosting already a lot of service industries, financial industries, retail industries, okay, manufacturing industries, and now the the recent boom, the, the recent booming is our health facilities. He added the contribution of tourism to the city's economy is estimated at around 30 to 40 percent. Likewise, its contribution to the overall tourism of the region is substantial as the city serves as a gateway to other nearby tourist sites. Also, the LGU plans to ultimately transform into a smart and sustainable city. Last year, the city recorded 1.5 million tourist arrivals while tourism receipts hit 1.9 billion pesos. And for this year, the city targets to reach 1.7 million tourist arrivals. Rod Lugusad, from the National TV Network, for a new and better Philippines.